severe thunderstorm warning that's just been posted by the National Weather Service until 7.15. This does include much of southern Norfolk County down through much of Bristol County and western Plymouth County right now. The main concern is this line of storms that's back into Rhode Island and eastern Connecticut. As that continues to push eastbound, this will be capable of producing wind gusts close to 60 miles an hour, so certainly a powerful storm there. Already seeing some torrential rains close to Attleboro, North Attleboro, and Franklin. This isn't necessarily with that severe thunderstorm that's back off to the west. In fact, it's this line stretching just west of Providence right now, back through uh, Greenwich, Rhode Island, East Greenwich, Rhode Island, and then back toward 395. And you can see this solid line of red and oranges in here. And this is where we do have the um, possibility of those strong damaging wind gusts. So we're going to have to keep an eye on this storm as it continues to fly off to the east northeast so all towns essentially close to the 495 95 exchange right around the foxborough area attleboro area stretching all the way down to new bedford and fall river you are in the severe thunderstorm warning and that goes east toward the 24 stretch from brockton stretching up toward uh, randolph and stoughton there so that's a powerful thunderstorm that's going to be moving through over the next hour again severe thunderstorm warning there until 7:15. so here we go with the forecast model this initial batch of thunderstorms going to be moving through over the next couple of hours and then we get some late morning midday breaks but the atmosphere itself is still very unstable very conducive for thunderstorms I so once you get the daytime heating going i do expect more thunderstorms to fire this afternoon mid to late afternoon and these ones could be locally severe as well but perhaps damaging wind gusts and you notice the nature of the game this afternoon they are hit or miss. So not all towns will see it this afternoon, but the storms that do form could locally be on the stronger side. So we're going to keep an eye on that. We are under a slight risk all day of severe weather from the Storms Prediction Center out of Oklahoma. They've put eastern New England into the slight category for severe weather. Already seeing that warning pop down into southeastern Mass so far this morning. So we're going to have to continue to track these storms throughout the day. And we do warm up again, mid-80s to lower 90s. Temperatures already running into the lower 70s this morning with high humidity. Stray shower or thunderstorm as we get through the overnight, uh, through the uh, early uh, afternoon hours tomorrow, but that should be it. And then even this evening, any shower or thunderstorm that's out there should fade away. So just an isolated storm tomorrow afternoon. Thursday looking dry. Next chance of widespread rain could be late Friday, Friday night into Saturday. I believe it.